Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. You might have heard a lot about energy healing, spiritual healing. We're going to go layers deeper into that. And we've got a modern day mystic joining us. I've heard the term before. I'm going to learn more, just like all of us are. Peter Shank is, is back on the program. Hey, Peter, how are you doing? Steve, I'm doing amazing. Thank you. Um, so typically when I do a show, I like to do a water blessing right out of the gate. And what it does is it kind of sets the mood and the tone for the show to ensue. So with that said, all the listeners, all you got to do is just grab a glass of water. It can be bottled water or in your case, seltzer water. I got seltzer water today. And what I'd like you to do is just simply raise your left hand over that glass of water and <clears throat> while it's on the table in front of you. Mm -hmm. Left hand is for receiving. And in a second, what you'll start to feel is an energy move down through your hand into the water. That can come in the form of a straight up lightning bolt, pin pricklies, heat, anything. Once you start to feel that, you'll want to put your attention on the water. Okay, so energy that is in physical form or non-physical form will do absolutely anything for you as long as you acknowledge its existence. So once you start to feel that energy flow out loud, put your attention on the water and repeat these eight sacred words. I honor the space in which you exist. I honor the space in which you exist. Awesome. And what you'll feel is that energy flow start to increase through your hand into the water. I feel my hand getting hotter. Oh, absolutely. So give it about five, set, five, 10 seconds, and then go ahead and taste the water. And what you'll notice is it's smoother, it's silkier. And once you consume it, then you'll start to feel that energy moving through your body. And that's where the magic starts to happen. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. So you said before we even went on that if I use seltzer water, it's going to be flatter. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's in my head, but it's, it's, this is a fresh can and now it feels flatter. Of course. <laughs> it's wild. You know, what you just did backs up what I've been learning in my journey over, you know, the past year, but most recently, how you can transfer energy to anything. You can, it could be a piece of paper. It could be a card with an intent that you read every single day, you know, call it Reiki on that card, whatever. So to be clear, you're actually not transferring energy because you are that energy, right? So science has coined a term, the quantum realm. And it's, it's a buzzword today, <laughs> you know, quantum this, quantum that. But it, it, it's core. And my engineering for the first half of my life was all, uh, I'm sorry, you know, my learning was all analytical, engineering, computer software, all of that. And after my wake up experience, the metaphysical side started to grow. And as it was growing, I, I needed to understand quantum mechanics, right? And there's books and volumes about what it is. And we're not going to go into that because honestly, it's pretty boring. But if you have a really small fundamental understanding that everything is energy and that energy is all interconnected, this interconnectedness is what science coins the quantum realm. It is a place that has no beginning and no end. Space, time, and distance do not exist. So in essence, where you put your consciousness, you can also set your intention, right? So you can exist nowhere or you can exist everywhere simultaneously. So with your comment about directing energy, you're not actually directing energy. You're just putting your form there instantly. Pretty cool, huh? It is, but I'm trying to get, and I'm the furthest thing. I'm a tech geek, yes, but I'm not a science guy. So how, how do we send that energy from us, hand, to the can or, or glass intention and was and energy transferred from you or i or was it always there i'm sure i'm that's the part i'm trying to get well that's a thousand dollar question right so look at it at a different vantage point if if you could rate the health of a human body on a scale from zero to ten ten being the christ consciousness the perfect human form 
Um, but a normal human maybe vibrates around an eight. But a person that has cancer maybe vibrates a, a four or five, right? And your objective is to remove that cancer from that person via healing. So they go to bed and they wake up and the cancer's gone. Now they're vibrating at a seven or an eight. So the question then becomes, did the cancer ever exist or did you truly get rid of it? So there's these conundrums, you know, it's like opening up a door, it leads to three more. In my world, that's irrelevant. It's just the end goal that remember, you know, that matters. Interesting. And they say that we all have the power to heal ourselves. Absolutely. It's where you put that energy and, and your intent and how you work with it. Well, you know, <clears throat> a child, an infant sees the world as magic up until maybe eight or 10 months, right? And then conditioning starts. We start teaching them, they start learning, and they kind of lose that magic. And then as adults, obviously, you know, we don't have it anymore. But if you have the intent to rediscover that magic, you can then do amazing things. And ultimately, this is all about spreading more love and light in the world and raising the vibration of the planet and everyone that's inhabiting it. Yeah. So your website is moderndaymystic.com, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Interesting. And what, what is, what is a mystic? How do you, how do you determine this? How do you, how do you uh, define a mystic? You know, it was really interesting. So modern day mystic was born back in the, the, the signature was born back in 2011. And at the time, I had several different software products on the market and each one had its own website, had its own store. And it was really, really hard to kind of keep everything together. So I went to a, a guy out in Chicago who later became uh, a photographer for all of the products that we produced. And, and I asked him, I said, I want to I, he was a web developer. And I said, I want you to bring all of everything I've created under one house and I don't have a name for it. So he's like, well, let, how about modern day mystic? And it, and I, it took me back and the websites were available and I needed a day to think about it. So I thought about it and everything that I do represents past, present and future. Okay, the past being ancient knowledge, lost knowledge brought together in the now, the present with state of the art fabrication, metallurgy processes, state of the art digital um, software and so forth, all in a futuristic design. So that's where the modern part came in. Uh, day, just kind of, uh, day just kind of sounded cool, but the mystical part is everything I do has an, uh, a mystic allure about it. You know, all the teachings that we're, we're putting out, all of the products that, you know, the spiritual technology, that's all next generation. It all is very mystical in the way it's presented. Um, so, okay. So this is a forthcoming product called the HFA Palladium. And this stands for Harmonic Field Amplifier Palladium. Okay, I'm not going to get too deep into this one, but I just want to kind of show it. This product is mystical on so many levels, and I, I don't I don't want to go into too much about this one right now, but it's a perfect representation of past, present and future, all in a product that will help shift you from ultimately from a life stuck in fear into a loving world. And the other part of it is, you know, a lot of times in life we're motivated and passionate. And I love to use the gym as an example, right? Come January 1st, everyone's motivated and passionate to go to the gym. So what do they do? They buy a year membership. And what happens on March 1st? Or they buy gym equipment. Well, the, the year membership that you bought uh, that you're going to be paying for for another 10 months, just you're not motivated to go anymore. The piece of gym equipment that you bought just became the most expensive, you know, put your coat on it or throw your clothes on it to do the wash you've ever bought. But if you are driven, Steve, to see something through to completion, okay, 
when you are driven, you are unstoppable. And that's an, an energy that you can't get anywhere. It only comes from the inside. So for instance, with the HFA Palladium and some of the other products that we've created over the years, my mindset has always been that if the universe wants me to produce this product and get it out in the world, I have to find that energy that's inside to be driven. If I'm motivated or passionate about it, it's just not going to happen. So what's the difference between passion and motivation when we talk about energy? So passion, I have a passion for Italian food, right? I love to eat it. Okay. Um, my motivation is, is to go to my favorite Italian spot and eat it. So when it comes to energy work, most people in the world like to coin themselves that are in the, um, you know, the spiritual and holistic as something, perhaps maybe a Reiki master or an energy healer. Yep. <clears throat> they're passionate and they're motivated to do that. And, and, you know, they're great at what they do. When I started this journey, I had a conversation with the universe and I basically said, I am not going to follow anybody in the world. I'm not going to understand how they do things. I am everything that I have created, pushed out into the world has been carved through solid rock. Everything is new, it's fresh, and it's radically advanced in terms of healing. And you have to be driven to achieve that. So the motivation and the passion comes when you label yourself as something. But because I know intuitively, as you are and everyone is, that we are unlimited beings, how can we not be? We're all part of that divine spark that you know is all of creation. Um, to limit yourself as one thing. So, so when I'm doing an energy session with a person and, you know, we come across a roadblock, whatever it is, a piece of energy that's got to go, maybe causing something in their past, you need to be driven to get rid of it. But more importantly, because you have a fundamental knowledge that you are unlimited, you can download that piece of the Reiki, or you can download instantly on the fly in real time and allow that healing to ensue. And when you say that, do you mean, Peter, that it's you allowing that energy to get in and maybe get rid of the, the replace the bad energy? Or is it, are we talking about the person that's accepting it and has the you know, challenges that needs to change? So this is a rabbit hole discussion, but I'll give you the basics. Before any of the great work can be done, there's always a, something like a soul contract where the time and the place that a great work has to be done. So your embodiment has agreed before you took form for me to allow to be part of your experience to do that. And it's never me actually doing the work. It's uh, great energy healers that are alive today and in the past, they are basically just the conduits by which the great work is done through them. So when somebody comes before you and they say, yeah, I've, I, I want to either they recognize that they have issues from the past and they need to heal from them, or they just want to move life forward, maybe get rid of anxiety, what, whatever, whatever they're looking for, you direct them to the right modality, I would assume. Great question. So everyone is different there. I, I've performed a lot of sessions over the last 20 years, and there's never two that are the same. But there are three types of people that typically come to me. Uh, the first is someone that knows exactly what they want to do. And once it's presented, the story actually changes and that allows for the real work to begin. The second type of person is someone that just feels like they need to connect for some reason and then the, the, you know, the great work will ensue. And the third type is just people that just need something. They don't know what, they just need something. And then of course, once the story starts to unfold then the work begins. So what type of modalities do you offer? We talked about Reiki. Do you do Reiki? So I, so there's 
five or six different types of sessions on the website. The first are just energetic sessions. People typically buy time. We set that time up. And then, you know, I, I, I kind of like to give a background before answering sure. the question, obviously. <laughs> so as you move through your reality and that you, you're never given the exact information um, or the plans for a product, right? You have to work towards that. So on the energy session side, when I first started doing energy sessions, we offered one type. It was one type fits all. Everybody comes in and that's where those kind of three layers um, would filter in. So after years and years of doing them, what you have done is you have proven to the universe that you are resourceful. You're not just a person that says they're gonna do something, you're a person that says they're gonna do something and then you follow through with it, hence the driven part. So after a decade of doing energy sessions, I was given access to what we call a person's core about probably about three or four years ago. And the core is your soul. It's the center of your consciousness. It's the center of your being. And what I was given was a, a much deeper energetic level to people. So what came from that? Well, we, we spawned three sessions. Uh, the first one is a core cleanse. We, we spin your core. It creates carrier waves. It creates a massive energetic field within the body. It, it pushes out. And as it pushes out, it cleans everything on the way out. That spawned a chakra core, right? So I've been working on chakras for years, cleaning them. And, you know, 15 years ago when we started, it was an eight day process, an hour a day, all the way from the crown down to the base. And what we found from that was because we were draining the good and the bad energy, by the time we had drained the base, you didn't feel human anymore, but yet you had to wait 24 hours before we came back in and filled them up simultaneously. So again, um, as that was refined over time, I showed the universe, yes, we can do this. So the chakra core was born. And that basically in that one hour session, we clean all your chakras and then we simultaneously fill them back up. And then the receiving core was born. And this, this one was very personal to me. So a couple of years back, I wanted to, I, I, you know, I had heard stories about people who, uh, not being able to receive because they've given everything to themselves. So I send an email out to the tribe saying, Hey, I've got this new energetic session and I want to test it on people. Why should I test it on you? My inbox filled up. And what I learned from those emails was that people had given everything of themselves and they weren't order. They, they couldn't receive anything. And, you know, you've heard the term, the in and the out press, um, but in order to receive, you have to give. And in order to give, you have to receive. So in, in that particular session, we go in and again, there's three carry ways uh, and we reprogram the subconscious mind for giving and receiving, receiving and giving. And what that does is it opens up all kinds of doors and gets rid of the blockages. Interesting. So you're, if somebody's going to receive, let's say, because there's so many people out there that have given so much of themselves, and don't take any time for self-care. If somebody's in that situation where they've given so much, are they able to receive clean energy, better energy? Can they be healed? So typically, no, they can't. Wow. But they can't be healed. Typically, it goes back to early childhood where there's feelings of guilt, yep. um, you know, uh, material consumption in the Western world, uh, you know, people with different philosophies, it's bad. So, you know, when, when a young mind is, is basically programmed or experiences something over the course of their life, <clears throat> it creates a, um, a hardening of this energy. And over time, that wreaks havoc on the body, mind, and spirit. And as you age, that can translate into the human plane as a whole host of human ailments, your bipolar. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So... Receiving and giving is as important as breathing. 
And so if somebody reaches out to you on your website, moderndaymystic.com, how does the process begin? Do they tell you what they're looking for? Do they tell you their situation and then you kind of direct them? So I, I've spent a lot of time and resources on the website and have constantly updated it over the years. And one thing I really pride myself on is descriptions that are, you know, tell exactly what the product or the service is and what you're going to get. And people, sure, they can contact me through the website. And, and sometimes I have a phone call with them. I'm very close to my customer base and I love talking to people. So typically before someone purchases a session, if they're not sure, they just call the number. Uh, I don't have an answering service. I love to talk to people. I never want to put a layer <laughs> as much as I can between myself and that customer spending um, you know, money on a service that they'll receive. Yeah. So when that, that takes place, they reach out to you. Um, are there people that can't be healed? No. Everyone can be healed. And that's a great question, by the way. So there are amazing products in the world, energetic products that just simply don't work for people, but they work for everybody else. Why is that? In my experience, it's always about that person's trajectory. Okay. So without getting into past life regression and where you are, basically, if you have to have an experience in life for your own DNA, and you want to purchase something that's going to alter that experience, the universe negates it instantly. Now, give me that again, because that seems pretty powerful what you, and profound what you just said. Okay. So as a human, you're, you're, and you don't have to subscribe to this. It's just an opinion. Your life is scripted. Every action, every thought you signed up for. Okay. So now you're going to have some experience, whether it's small or large. Okay. It's coming, it's coming down your data stream and you want to purchase an energetic product that does something to you. Okay. Maybe for healing. And all of a sudden you purchase that product, that product will be overwritten by the universe because you have to have your experience on your trajectory. So it simply will not work on you. So let's say you've had experience in your childhood and you figured it out and you need to heal from it. It would work in that situation. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Um, man, we go deep here today. <laughs> Steve, we're, we're only scratching the surface. The surface. I, I, had a, I had that feeling too. Yeah. Wow. Um, do you do a discovery call? Like somebody talks to you, they, they reach out to you so that you can kind of direct them in the, the right service, the right product? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's important to remember that when, when you come across something that's unique and you get very excited, you're going to want to start spending money. But it's more important to sit back and breathe and assess because in life, you never pick the product. The product always picks you, hmm. okay? And, and, and never think with your, your mind because that implies logic. And never use your heart because that implies emotion. You go with your gut. And that gut residency is communicating with that product that ensues you. Everything I create has consciousness. Okay, that's a bold statement. And that consciousness is derived from the universe, which is childlike energy. It only wants to make you happy, it wants to have fun. So in the case of, you know, something like the HFA series, and again, I'm not going to get into this, this product has its own unique properties. And what I do is I inspire, I teach people to start that dialogue with the product because there's consciousness and what you feel coming back to you in the beginning is waves of vibration, right? And it doesn't matter what language or however you think those waves of vibration very, very quickly turn into human language. At that point it's game on. Then the product really starts to light up and the magic really ensues.
next time we get together, could we go a little deeper in, into some of those products? Because I, I find that fascinating. I'm, you know, sure. I'm, a, I'm a gadget guy, a tech guy, curious how they work uh, in terms of helping people heal. Um, what are the eight words that we started out with, with the intent for blessing the water again? I honor the space in which you exist. Got to remember that. And how often would you suggest even blessing water with those words? You know, it. so it, blessing water is amazing. Anything, you can bless anything, but water, you know, since the body's made up of some huge percentage of water, hey, like and you bless something, yeah. yeah, and you bless something externally and it goes in, uh, then it starts to move. You know, people used to hold hands and say grace, right, around the table. Mm -hmm. why, did, why did we do that? Well, Christian Christianity would teach you one thing, but actually it was to raise the vibration of the food. The food would actually taste better, right? Um, so I developed software technology that allows you, and I'll get into this on another call, but it allows you to impress the light frequencies of intention into water anywhere in existence, past, present, or future, or a humidity bubble around you. <laughs> this stuff gets really, really amazing once you start to enter into the products and services that we created. But blessing water as many times as you want. Not going to hurt you, and it's just going to basically good energy, right? It's amazing energy, yeah. Well, you've got that. That's uh, Peter Shank. ModernDayMystic.com. Go to the website. There's so much information. There's so much insight. Um, well worth a visit and also worth a phone call. If you're looking to heal from something, looking to move your life forward. Uh, great talking with you today, Peter. Thank you, Steve. It's been awesome. Yeah, fascinating. And uh, we'll catch up again. We'll be right back. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay.